Hello, my name is William Goff, and I am a fourth year chiropractic student at the University of Bridgeport School of Chiropractic in Bridgeport, Connecticut. And today we are going to be um, doing some orthopedic tests that demonstrate uh, the specific ways of figuring out TOS, or thoracic outlet syndrome, um, especially for rehab doctors who need to be very specific uh, with the treatment and exercises that they give to their patients. This is imperative to be able to figure out the exact location of impingement. Um, so, the first test we're going to do is for the um, scalene entrapment, so between the anterior and middle scalenes. And this may be different than what you're thinking because most people think of AdSense or reverse AdSense, um, but that has since been devalued as far as specificity and sensitivity. Um, so what we're gonna do is the syrinx, um, test or syrinx maneuver and what I'm going to have my patient do is put his hands on in front of him and just relax at 90 degrees you have to come behind them and just relax and I'm going to lift lifting the entire shoulder girdle and that relieves the pressure off of the uh, first rib and clavicle and that can help you determine if there's still an entrapment between the scalenes um, the next one is going to be Wright's test you can relax for me and this one is also called the hyperabduction test. You want to palpate the radial pulse, and then you want to have them extend, bring up, and then all the way up. And that will traction around the um, coracoid underneath the pec minor muscle, and that can help you determine if that's where the entrapment site is. And then the next one we are going to do is, I forgot what it is. <laughs> the next one we're going to do, oh, it's Eden's test. So Eden's test is pretty simple. You have both your hands for me. I'm going to have you squeeze your muscles back this way and put your head down in front of you, chin to chest. There we go. And that one um, also puts pressure uh, between the clavicle and the first rib. And that can help you determine if that's the place of entrapment, costoclavicular maneuver. And then we can, there's a couple other tests that you could do, but Cody's, where have the patient lift their arm and put their hand behind their head. And if they had pain in the beginning and then it relieves when you do this, that could mean that there's still an entrapment between the um, anterior and middle scalene. And if you have them do the same maneuver and they did not have pain initially and they have pain after, then there could be entrapment between or underneath the pec minor. Um, some other things to keep in mind, you can put your arm down, is to always check for the nerve entrapment sites that could be further down the arm, like radiculopathies or double crush syndrome. And these are nerve tension tests. So basically, you know, all the different ones that you do in this manner. Thank you very much.